two weeks before the fight, a doctor shows up. He's going to inject them. What does this do? This gives you a lot of strength. I say, Ali, we don't need this stuff. Dr. Charles Williams decided, just on the basis of observing that Ali was overweight, that he had a thyroid condition. And so he started prescribing Thyroid. What fighter in the history of the damn world has ever taken thyroid pills before a fight? That's like taking the wheels off of, a, of an Indianapolis Speedway racer and racing with a tire. The muscle you use to fight is burned up by thyroid pills. Already his kidneys are shot. Now you're giving him stuff to make his kidneys work harder. We are the greatest of all time. And then Ali treated the Thyrolar tablets like diet pills, and instead of taking one a day, he took three a day. I used to come in the room, and he had maybe 10, 15, or 25 pills he was taking. I said, what's all this? It's my vitamin, it's my vitamin. You know, I let him know I didn't like it, but he wouldn't, he wouldn't, he didn't care. So I see him pump every day, pump, you know. You feel it, you feel it ready. Come down to 218 pounds. I thought he was taking vitamins. Uh, it was thyroid pills. I didn't know. Now comes time, one o'clock. Wake Ali up to run. He said, I just ran a mile. I can't go. I said, something's wrong. They used to call me from Vegas. So you got to come see this. Ali can't walk up the ring stairs to do four rounds of fighting. I don't want to see that. I know that without going there. Attitude is a big factor. Can I lose? Can you see me? When I see Why a guy who is a shell of himself was brought here was all to orchestrate the biggest drop in the history of this city at the tables. It brought people from all over the world to this fight. The high rollers, and then the restaurants are crowded, the, the casinos.